Among the most important storylines that emerged from last week's Wolverines win, the return of big number three, Rashawn Gary, to the defensive line. I felt like forever, um, you know, getting, getting a chance to get back, you know, healthy and um, being back with my brothers, that was a big thing for me. And because um, we still got a lot of business to finish and now I'm happy to be, you know, back a part of it. You know, instead of, um, you know, outside being vocal, now I'm able to participate and be vocal too, you know, just have fun. You know, I missed it and I'm just happy to be back. It put a smile on my face, you know, uh, just to see him happy, see him back and, uh, you know, what he was going through these previous weeks, you know, we had him down and, you know, he was second-guessing things, and he wasn't feeling right, and you can see it on his face, you know, but uh, he stuck in there, and uh, he attacked his, his rehab, you know, super hard. Gary's absence didn't just make fans' hearts grow fonder, it also made his grow fonder. You know, them three games I missed, it felt like a lifetime, um, you know, I'm just, I'm so used to playing football, playing football, and nothing happening that, you know, I want to say I took it for granted in terms of, you know, being able to play every snap. It was nice to see him out there, man, to see him playing again, see him smiling, see him out there with us. And um, I can just tell by his, his expressions, he was he was happy to be out there with us. And this is a great feeling to see him back out there working, you know, um, just giving it his all, um, putting it all on the line for the team. We hear stories on perspective when a guy misses extended time. Rashawn's reaction to his brief absence underscores his love for the game and for his teammates. Gave me a chance to, you know, sit back and be like, it's not forever. So, you know, every opportunity you have, you have to go 110% or you're cheating yourself and you're cheating the team. And, um, you know, I heard that a lot. But, you know, you know, actually having that happen to you and, um, you know, actually get to sit down and have your emotions build up a game day you can't play and your brother's about to go to war, that's the worst thing that you could feel. And um, like I said, I'm just happy to be back and healthy. On a personal level, Rashawn's recovery couldn't have turned out much better. Saturday's game at Rutgers is about six miles from his hometown of Plainfield, New Jersey. At last count, he told us he was expecting over 40 family and friends in attendance. For MGoBlue.com, I'm Ed Kingerski.